Now that I'm 18, I could say that I'm finally ready to show you mortals how I animate. Because, oh boy, when I showed it to other people, they would ask, Why? And, what is wrong with you? Then I asked back to them, what is wrong with you? Y'all don't animate with an editing so- oh. First of all, let's start with the hardware, cause I'm a year late and I'm so sorry, Cinder, please don't sue me. Ah, ah. The Gaumon M106K Pro. I've been using this for quite a while now, since the second half of my Tommy unit joined the game animation, to my most recent 18th birthday animation. The tablet has a battery-free AP32 pen with 8192 levels pen pressure, a 10 by 625 inches work area, 12 express keys and 16 soft keys, two finger gloves and eight extra pen nibs, one USB type C adapter and one micro USB adapter, a free funny bag, and a bunch more stuff that I lost. I'm so sorry, I'm so, so, I'm so sorry. And now I just wanna say that if you're thinking about doing art and animation as a hobby, this tablet would be a really good start. Not only is it cheaper than those bigger brands, it is also really easy to learn and get used to. I actually, didn't do the review because I, I, I could have given it a bad one when I first received it. The pen was annoyingly squeaky when I pressed down, I got a bit overwhelmed with the number of buttons, and I had I had to get a new desk just to get it comfortable, like, for, for me, because I had a, a little tiny desk and it sucks, and it's a big boy. But after using it a bit more, the pen is no longer squeaky, luckily. I use the top buttons for my drawing shortcuts and the bottom buttons for things like muting on Discord and screenshotting, copy pasting, all of that. And that you really need, you really might need a big area for this, Kazooie Mama, this is a big chungus. Okay, so here are the basics of the tablet. Basically, it's not really, um, it's not really a screen tablet. Just, just if you, if you're, if you're asking, it's more of a like a desk tablet where you're like, it's like a mouse pad kind of. Like, you know, the usual, but I really reckon you get this if you're going to start off because screen tablets, I think that's more for, for more more for the pros. So if you're if you're gonna do this as an as a hobby or you know, like get this first. Um the buttons, you know, there are a lot of buttons. I as I mentioned that there's just uh, a bit too much buttons for my drawing preferences, but I use the top ones as the drawing ones and the bottom ones as my extra ones, so Maybe if you're a streamer, you can use it to like change your scenes and whatnot. Uh, I don't know, but I use it for like Discord and like muting and, and deafening. Um, portability, it's pretty portable. It's very light and yeah, if you're if you're gonna go travel and bring it, I mean, it's pretty big. So for like going somewhere with it, it might get a it might be a bit of a hassle, but it's pretty good still. It's pretty good. You can bring it if you have like if you're good enough to have like a, a good bag. And hey, it has a free bag. You can bring it with the free bag. That's awesome. And honestly, benefits of having this, it's like it's really beneficial. Like comparing this to my previous tablet, which was a Wacom Intuos, which was my very first tablet. Um, just given the fact that it has more buttons and it's bigger, it, I just got a, a lot more space to actually, you know, um, let my wrist move. Cause uh, the problem with with the Wacom one was that um, uh, when I move around, it was just my my wrist moving instead of my entire arm, which is how you're supposed to use a tablet because you know your wrist might hurt and yeah uh, through experience that is yes you i think this would be a good practice for you to you know so start off moving your entire arm instead of getting used to just moving your wrist in a tiny thing here we go i'm going to show you my little preference here actually uh the buttons here we go i showed you already the workspace but the workspace here which is really cool um, you can set up a ratio for it, and it's just really interesting. I made it a bit smaller because, again, I don't like it. my my arm moves a lot, but I want I don't want it I don't want it to take up the entire space. So that's why I just showed the like I just made it a, t a little a little smaller, even though it's a bigger thing. It only uses this part of the tablet, which is really cool. So if you're interested in getting this tablet, Amazon link is down below, and I really reckon you get this if you're starting off, or maybe you want an upgrade from a, st a smaller tablet. Thank you again, Gammon, for this amazing opportunity. I am so sorry it's a year late, but thank you so much. Uh, happy birthday to me, I guess. <laughs>